ocean-going striped bass spend their adult lives in the ocean and return to freshwater tributaries to spawn. However, in 1941, striped bass were accidentally landlocked while building a reservoir in South Carolina. It was discovered that striped bass could thrive in freshwater reservoirs that contain enough oxygen and have adequate forage. So in 1974, striped bass were introduced into Lake Powell. Biologists believed they would only spawn in the river systems that feed Lake Powell, but that all changed when Wayne discovered stripers spawning in the lake. I saw eggs floating on the surface, hitting up against the bank, and I went over there to see what those were. Looked up, and these got to be striper eggs. Stripers are spawning in the lake. Oh yeah, yeah. It took me a couple of years to convince the people in Salt Lake that that's what really was going to happen, and it did. And so instead of a two fish limit on stripers, now we have unlimited. So now we control the species by harvest. So harvest as many as possible to keep them in balance so that they don't overrun, they don't get too thin. They're just right, and it's working out pretty well. So how many stripers are in Lake Powell? Okay, I'm gonna say between 10 and 20 million. There you go. Somewhere between you, there. You decide. <laughs> Wayne says recognizing that stripers spawn in Lake Powell and getting anglers to harvest them is one of his biggest success stories of a long, successful career at Lake Powell.